and vamos a empezar. So I'm gonna set aside for a moment my blanket and I'm gonna start in the middle facing you and I'm gonna tip this up just a hair. Good. All right, so let's just start for a moment. Let's actually start in a little um, hip or your feet right underneath your shoulders. So I'm gonna start just gently rocking my weight side to side. My knees are soft. My tailbone is dropped. And while you do this, you can take your, maybe even put a hand on your tailbone, maybe a little hand at the front of the pelvis and just feel little weight shift, right? How do your knees take that? How do your feet, how do your ankles? Are they responding here? All right, so now as you shift the weight to one side, lift the opposite heel. You can do this just nice and slow, steady, easy, just waking up. Good, one heel, and then the other as the weight shifts, focusing too on keeping the pelvis estable, stable as you go. Excellent, so now maybe the whole foot is ready to pick up. And, and just feel your Achilles, the calf, the quad, the quadricep, the gluteal group, all just saying, okay, yep, I'm here. I'm doing these things you're asking. Excellent. So now let's pause. I'm going to hold my weight on my right side. And then I want you to take the opposite foot just forward and back a few times, just feeling what muscles work as the leg stretches forward and then stretches back. Good. Just waking up a sense of balance this morning. Excellent. So now let's pause and place that foot down on the floor. Shifting the opposite foot is just going to move forward and back just a few times. Good. Just waking up your legs. All right, so now let's pause. Let's step your feet just a little bit wider, and then we're gonna do some bigger weight shifts. And if it feels nice, bring your arms into it. So as your weight shifts to one side, you can extend the arms and kind of float out over that leg, trying once again to keep neck, shoulders, tailbone, all steady as your weight shifts. Good. Good. It's almost like flying out over the leg. Very nice. So now we're going to just pause on one side with your limbs out for a moment. Good. Don't really have to do anything. Just find yourself, find some balance. Exhale, let's change sides. Same thing, just fly out over that leg. Good. Use an exhale, set it down. So now with the feet wide, we're going to float the arms out, the thighs back. Uh, so your chest is going to stay open, push through the hands, push through the thighs, good, a few rounds, big exhales, help you extend, the arms can reach, you can keep them low if your shoulders are still kind of waking up this morning, good, we're going to try this just one more time, all right, and then you're going to pause down here, and I want you to kind of breaststroke the arms. And you can even lengthen the knees as the arms extend. So you're kind of in a moderate forward bend. Good, letting your arms continue to reach out. Good. All right, let's pause down here. Sweep the arms back behind you. Put your hands on your low back and then extend. So let the top of your head move forward. And then let's exhale and bring ourselves back up. I'm gonna turn my right toes out to the side, but continue to move my hips forward. So we're gonna exhale, extend the arms, and then straighten. Exhale, extend. Good, so bending your knee, doblando la rodilla. Good, and then reaching the arms. Esperando lo, las, los brazos. All the way out. Good, all the way back. All the way. Excellent. And now let's go ahead, pause out here for just a moment. And I want to reach away from your bent leg and then reach toward it with the torso. So you'll reach away and then reach toward and then reach away and then reach toward. So letting the rib cage do
Do the moving, feeling the hips stabilize. Excellent. And now from here, let's pause towards the bent knee. Let the bottom arm come down. Sweep that arm all the way. And then sweep it in the opposite direction. And, and then you're going to exhale, reach all the way up and out. Let's change sides. So those toes turn in, opposite toes turn out. And we're going to exhale, bend, and extend. Good. So as you bend the knee, make sure it's moving toward your pinky toe. So when you bend, you should be able to see your big toe of that leg. So if you need to do a little bit of realigning of your knees, that's OK. Excellent. Let's do this one more time. And then you're going to stretch, reach your rib cage over the thigh and then reach your rib cage towards the back leg. Good. So feel your whole torso move. So you're waking up the oblique muscles. These are the muscles we use for all kinds of things, but specifically right here, this is lateral movement of your spine. So you should feel your belly muscles helping you lift and lower. Good. And then let's pause here on the way down this bottom arm. Keep the palm facing up and you'll engage your bicep, right? And just, just use gravity to see what that arm can do. Circle it the other way. Again, with the palm facing up, you target the bicep. Good. And then from here, let's exhale, sweep, bring ourselves all the way back up. Now we're going to turn all the toes out. Bring the arms forward, up over the head as your knees bend. So doblando las rodillas. Good. And then coming right back up. Doblando las rodillas. And then right back up. Good. Arms are reaching overhead if that feels comfortable. Again, no pressure to do anything that doesn't feel quite right. Get into this slowly. Excellent. And now we're going to pause down here. I want you to move the elbows wide and then move the elbows alongside the ears as you hold yourself in this little bent position here. Good. Let's take a three and two and one. Excellent. So now you're going to reach to the right all the way up, reach to the left or just mirror me. Good. One arm sweeps down and under opposite arm sweeps and under Good. up. And now from here, you're going to pause, taking it up nice and tall, raise one heel, pulse five, four, three, two, one, opposite heel, five, four, three, two, one, two heels, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, push them down and all the way back up to standing. So now you're going to scissor your feet back in. Good. And then we're going to exhale, move the thighs all the way back here. Hands are going to move onto the low back. Take a forward bend. And then inhale, sweep. Take the arms all the way up. I'm going to raise my left leg and place my hands on the shin bone for a moment. Just breathing. And again, you can go you can mirror me or go opposite let's just extend the opposite arm and leg here for a moment keep the knees bent keeping your hips dropped so imagine sitting bones are stable and that's what's going to get this glute to fire exhale release let it come down inhale the arms float right back up and then the opposite leg is going to lift just focus here for a moment not having to do anything else uh, feel your shoulders your collarbones, your rib cage, they're all stable. Allow the limbs to open. And then exhale right back to your center. Let's lower and take that down. I'm going to cross my right foot over my left. And then I'm going to take my left hand here back behind me. I'm going to exhale, open my chest, leaning back just a hair. Good. And then once again, take a forward bend. You can take your hands to the low back. So Nikine, hopefully, and everybody, you should feel 
a little bit of IT band stretch here in this forward bend should feel a little different. And then we're gonna exhale, bring it up. And from here, cross the arms. I'm gonna go left over right, just try to go opposite your legs. Bend your knee and just breathe here for a second. See if you can pick up your right foot just an inch off of the floor for five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Keep squeezing your shin bones together. Vamos a apretar los espanillas. And now see if you can pick up your left foot. Just hold five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, unfold the arms, unfold the legs. And then we're gonna cross in the opposite direction. Vamos a cruzar otra dirección. Good, so just begin here for a moment. Take your hands back to the low back and a big stretch, look up and exhale, fold fully. And then appreciate that the outside of the legs here are getting a stretch. You still wanna to try to move your thighs as vertically as possible. And you can do that by squeezing your shins. Good. And then from here, we're gonna exhale and come all the way back up and into standing. Now this time, cross the opposite arm on top, right? And then we're gonna fold at the knees. And then all I want you to do is try to pick up your left foot, hold it lifted, five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Now see if you can lightly, lightly, lightly pick up your right foot one inch from the floor, squeezing the shin bones, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. I'm gonna step to the side of my mat and then turn. So now I'm at the short edge. And let me do this, let me slide this up just a hair. And now we're gonna inhale, sweep, take your arms all the way up. Big breath, and then exhale, a long spine stretches forward. Good, so inhale, look up, and you're gonna walk your hands out. We'll go right and left and right. Pause for a moment here in your down dog. If it feels nice, pull the elbows out and back just a few times. And then you'll exhale, sweep. I'm gonna take my left leg up and then down. So exhale, lift up and then down, I'm trying to keep my neck relaxed as I go up and then down. This time, hold the leg up and then I'm gonna slightly open the hip and then bend and straighten the knee. Just coming down and up three and two and one. Now I'm gonna hold the knee bent, take that knee to the side, exhale, lift it back up. Knee to the side and up, knee to the side and up, knee to the side, and up, hold the knee to the side, stretch and extend out, three, and two, and one, very nice, exhale with that bent knee, bring it in, place it on the floor, and exhale, stretch back. Good, so now I'm kind of in a little pigeon, I'm gonna put some push-ups in this pigeon, so I've got just my fingers making contact with the floor. I'm gonna stretch, come forward, and exhale back. Stretch, come forward, exhale back. Stretch, come forward, exhale back. Stretch, come forward. This time, my arm that's furthest from the computer screen, I'm gonna lift it and then place my opposite hand on my back here. Again, so everybody proceed at the level that makes sense for them. Good, 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 good. And if it feels comfortable, you can come all the way down to the floor here. You could put two hands on your low back. You could even work to bend your extended leg back behind you. And then we're gonna take two hands, push right underneath your shoulders and exhale, reach your back hand towards that back leg. Good. And then from here, exhale, sweep, take them down. 
push both hands under your shoulders. Just lift the hips for a moment. Using the muscles in the arms to keep you lifted. And then exhale, push back into a plank. Lift your hips back into a down dog. Really stretch your calves by reaching the heels away from the toes, taking the tailbone all the way up. And now I'm gonna walk my right foot in, my left foot in. Inhales, come to standing. Exhale, turn around, and I'm gonna do that same sequence on this side. So go ahead, inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, fold. Find a nice long forward bend. Inhale, take a big breath, really shake your head no, nod at yes. And then we'll exhale to look up. When you look up, feel the front of the ribs. The belly is already connecting here. And now you're gonna walk your hands out. We're gonna go right and left and right. Pause for a moment in the down dog. Okay, so now the right leg is gonna lift and bend and straighten. So you're just waking up right here. This is the glute and the hamstring. Good, good, good. And then we're gonna pause with that leg lifted, externally rotate, open the hip, and now bend and straighten here. So we're just gonna take the knee behind you, and up, knee behind, and up, knee behind, and up. So now, knee moves out and up. So the knee is gonna stay bent. We're gonna stretch it out to the side and up. Good, now, Hold that leg out horizontally, stretch and extend, three, stretch and extend, two, stretch and extend, one. Now pause, bend the knee, and slowly use your core muscles to bring the knee forward in between your hands. Take a big stretch here. So the first thing we wanna do in this pigeon-like fold, and it's not a full pigeon, your heel is coming back towards the hip. We're not going crazy. Um, but you want to feel that you first push your spine back so the whole front body stretches, right? You're pushing back here with your hands. And now the next thing we're going to do is bring your arms and let them come forward. And I just want you to make this about some push-ups, just letting your hips stretch a little more deeply as you continue to wake up your arms. Good. And then you can pause and let the back hand move onto your low back. And then if coming forward and letting two hands stretch towards your lumbar is okay, you can try this if this isn't where your body is right now. Keeping your hands forward so you control how much stretch you've got in the hip and the knees is also good. So these moments, um, if your body is saying yes, and you're just applying a little bit of pressure to your joints here, just with the weight of your body and holding them in a unique position in a position they aren't always in. We can reduce a lot of inflammation that's kind of like, I don't know, kind of wringing out the joint a little bit. So now we're gonna place your hands underneath your shoulders. Exhale, come up. See about just stretching this back heel up towards the sky. Again, if your hips are along for the ride, and then you'll exhale, Good. reach that hand back. Good, and then from here, two hands under your shoulders. This time, curl your back toes under, lift the knee joint. Big stretch through the hip. And then the next thing we'll do is just lift the sitting bones up for just a moment. Just hold the sitting bones. And then from there, you're back in a plank. Exhale, reach the two hips up. And then this time, we're gonna come forward into a plank pose. Take your knees down. Exhale, fold the elbows into your sides. Take five, and we'll move up. Take four, and up. Take three, and up. Take two, and last time. Very nice, exhale, lift your hips. This time the right leg comes through, bend the knee, and then you're gonna place the foot between your hands and plant the back heel. So this is also important for not holding too much pressure in your foot. Make sure the back heel goes down. And then I want you to extend your spine over this bent front leg. 
So really don't worry about coming all the way up into a pose yet. This knee can be soft, but just feel yourself working on your balance, almost like you're just kind of surfing here on your yoga mat. And you can circle the arms, kind of splash them in the imaginary waves. We're going with some water imagery. Good. Feeling yourself floating over your legs. Good. The arms can float out to the side. You can kind of lightly splash the arms here. Just feeling yourself stable through the legs. Good. And then the arms all the way out in front of you once again. Just lightly, lightly splashing. And then you'll exhale. Bring your hands to the shin bone. Good. And you're going to try to lift. It's like you're going to reach your front shin kind of towards your back shin. Good. And then you can reach your uh, arm. This is just the arm closest to the computer screen out. Good. Now we're going to take two arms down. We're going to do something that I know Nagin will think is fun. Step your front foot back and then pivot into a little side plank. Very, very, very nice. Good. And then from here, you're going to exhale. Take your two hands down. And now this time, on a little angle here, lift your hips. Unagin, this might be the spot that you're feeling tight in. So if you kind of come up on an angle here. Good. Can you lift your bottom leg? Just while you're holding yourself in this position. Good. Can you reach that bottom leg up and out? And then exhale, bring it right back in. Walk your hands towards your feet. Finding yourself here in a forward bend. And then exhale, coming all the way up and into standing. So now I'm going to turn around. Inhale, take the arms up. And exhale, take a long forward bend. From here, soften the two knees. This time I'm going to step my feet back into a little plank. Take a vinyasa. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, reach the, the thighs back. This time my left leg is going to come up, or the leg I haven't lifted yet. Good. And then from here, go ahead, bend the front knee, place the foot between your hands, plant the back heel, so make that a priority, and then exhale, lift the head, and I want you to feel yourself in that surfing position again. So again, just kind of sweep the arms, light at your sides, feeling the muscles waking up. Also, check in with your head. You don't want to be rounded. Make sure your head is lifted above your neck, your neck above your shoulders. So the spine stays really long. So now, lightly kind of tap the water at your sides here, keeping the arms engaged, kind of moving blood and breath through you. And then you're gonna reach the arms all the way up, down and up for a few rounds. Again, just feeling that lightness in your limbs. Good, and now from here, exhale. Place your hands on your shin as you begin to move forward. And you're gonna work on straightening this knee, but that's not gonna be the whole agenda here. Good, and then as that's feeling nice, go ahead, stretch, reach your top arm back. If you can find some rotation into Paribritha Trikonasana, give it a go. Good, no pressure. Good, so now check this out. If that was elusive and difficult on the opposite side, just see what happens here. I'm placing both hands down. And then I'm gonna step my front foot to my back foot and then just pivot into a little side plank. Good. So in this position, you can practice lifting one leg, practice lifting the opposite leg, or just stay really steady. <sighs> Use another big breath and then exhale. Take your two hands down. I really push and lift your hips. So I'm going to take my bottom thigh and really push it into my top thigh. I'm going to give my weight to that top leg. Oh, 
we'll see about lifting my bottom leg. And maybe exhale, reach it back behind me, pivoting out the other way. Just sort of exploring the hip socket. And then we're gonna exhale, bring that leg all the way back down. Now from here, lifting the hips. Let's go ahead, lower your two knees. Coming off of your hands, let's place the blankets in the middle of your mat. And then exhale back into a little plank. Can you just lower your body onto your blanket? So here we go, coming down on a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. All right, exhale, push your hands in, lift your chest. So play this little game with me. Feel bones of the heart right there, right in front of the heart are on the floor. And you're gonna push lightly with your hands until you get those bones off. Maybe just that little base of the sternum is making contact with the floor. Hold on to that and then float the hands out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Good, lightly press in with the fingertips and then you're gonna reach the arms forward and back. Light here, five and four and three and two and one. Exhale, push, lift your sternum up, making a little bit more of a bunjangasana. Good, check in with your chin over one shoulder, over the opposite shoulder. Exhale, lowering right back down. Good. So now let the elbows press in. No weight on your hands. With your elbows and forearms pressing in and your hands lifted, can you lift your navel and the base of your rib cage? So just hold that. It's like a little chaturanga, mini chaturanga. We're going to hold that for 10. No hands. Okay, so really feel this in the arms. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Move your hands here back to the lumbar spine. Get a little stretch. You can even pull your palms together here for a moment. And then exhale to lift your two thighs. And then just lightly move the legs up and down. Arriba, abajo, arriba, abajo, arriba, abajo. Arriba, abajo. Good. And now once again, lift your heart like we did when our hands were underneath us. And I want you to try that little Movement of the legs again. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Arms reach out, lift your chest. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Arms to the side, lift your head and chest. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Arms all the way up, and arms and legs can go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, pause. The back arm, roll onto it. And we're gonna try a little side movement here. So start with your top leg, hand at the hip. It's gonna come down and up just by itself. Good, and now I want you to add the bottom leg lifted. So you've externally, you've rolled that heel up, and then the knee is bending. The two legs are lifting together, lowering together. Here we go. Take another five and four and three and two and one. Let's focus for a moment on your top leg. Can you circle it in the hip socket just by itself? Three and two and one. Now circle the other way. Three and two. And one, can you hold that leg lifted? Take your top arm in front. And now your bottom leg, just lift it down and up. Five and four and three and two and one. Can you hold the lift and now bend and extend the knee? So the toe touches um, the base of the kneecap and then stretches right back out. Here we go. Five and four and three and two. And one, good, pause, let that bottom leg extend, and then it's gonna lower down and up by itself. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the top leg move forward, top bottom leg slightly back. 
Stretch the hip and the glutes. Stretch the arm. Top arm reaches behind you. That's a little open stretch here. And then we're going to exhale. Take your top hand, push it under, or push it right in front of your bottom shoulder, and then lift. Lift the top leg, lift your bottom arm, hold for just a moment. Exhale, squeeze the knees in, and then we're going to switch sides. So coming all the way around and onto the opposite side. Same thing, we're going to just begin with your top leg. So the first thing you can always do is check in with your feet. And if your feet are more or less lined up, then your hips are more and more or less stable, right? And um, and also aligned. So just do that little hip to foot check and then let your top leg travel all the way up, down and up. Let's just go a few rounds by itself, waking up the outside of the hip. Good, and then when you feel ready, the bottom leg is going to lift with the top leg. Good, and then we'll take a few rounds right here. So working the inner thigh on the bottom leg and the outer hip on the top leg, most specifically. So let's hold the legs lifted. Top leg is going to circle in the hip socket. Three and two and one. Now the bottom leg circles three and two and one now you're going to hold that leg lifted maybe take your top hand down in front of you bottom leg is going to come up from the floor good just take five four three from the inner five from the obliques two and one good now stretch and extend the leg out tap the knee out and in five and four and three and two and one, I can hold that bottom leg lifted, down and up, inner thigh, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice, change the position of your two legs. Top knee comes down. And we'll offer the body here a big stretch. The top arm moves back. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Uh, feeling your chest open up. The rest of you release. Good, and then use another exhale. Place the palm here in front of your bottom shoulder. Lift that top leg, lift your bottom arm, and just breathe here for a moment. Exhale, slide the hand in, pull your two knees underneath you, and now this time, Sweep your arms towards the computer screen. And we're gonna do another, another little variation of things here. Let's see how we are on time, this is great. Um, so let's begin, I'm gonna take my left leg and just circle it a few times in the hip. Good. And then we're gonna circle it the other way. Really using the exhales. And then you're going to once again extend the leg out to the side. Three and two and one. Good. Now set that leg down. Pick it up. Three and two and one. Set it down, placing it on the floor. Exhale, bring yourself. Sweep over the leg. And now you're going to sweep away from the leg. We'll sweep over the leg. We'll sweep away from the leg. We'll sweep over. Good, we'll sweep away. This time hold the away. Lift your rib cages up, getting a big stretch here. Good, and then exhale, pull the rib cages in and down. Lift your top leg. And exhale, lift the extended leg. And we're gonna take the arm and leg down and up. Five and four and three and two. And one, pause, arm reaches forward, leg reaches back, they change, we'll go five, and four, and three, and two, 
and one good sweep hand and foot they tap and reach five and four and three and two and one they hold big stretch good and then you can slowly bring yourself whoa can you still hold on back there get a little quadricep stretch if you can't that's okay no pressure on the kneecap Exhale, let that leg come down. Inhale, take the arms up and sweep the arms forward. And so now same thing. The opposite leg is going to circle in the hip socket. Good. Now circle it the other way. Using your exhales, all you got. Exhale, hold the leg up. Stretch and reach out. Three and two and one. Good, exhale, the leg floats down and up. Three, and two, and one. Exhale, the leg moves down. We stretch, we come over this leg for just a moment, and then we're gonna stretch and reach away. So, sobre la pierna, and bueno, and then away from the leg. A couple rounds. Just reaching once again through the rib cage. So that means anchoring through the hips, through the knees, through the bottom body, and then exhale coming over. Good. All right, so now we're gonna pause. Really feel the obliques right here, stretching you away. Top arm reaches up. Open the ribs for a moment. Get a nice stretch through the sides. And then you're gonna release that back down. And we'll exhale, take arm and leg, let them Lift together, lower together. Riva abajo. Good. Two. And use an exhale last time. And then the arm and leg reach out and away. It's five. And they switch positions, one arm forward as the leg moves back. And then change. Good. Let's pause with that leg behind us. Tap foot to ankle. Five and four and three, and two, and one, pause, hold that stretch. Good, I always think this looks like an ice skating move. All right, and then exhale, see if you can find your balance. As you come all the way up. Good, exhale, release, take a little child's pose forward, letting your thighs melt towards the floor and letting your low back melt towards the thighs. And I'm gonna exhale, press up, and then turn. So now I'm facing the short edge of my mat. My knees are bent for now. And I'm gonna exhale, sit up here, and reach my weight over my legs for a moment. And then let the arms, once again, just float forward and back. So there's something about keeping this movement in the arms periodically that for me, I think helps um, me feel less neck tension because I'm staying kind of alert through my upper body. I don't know, it's just a thought. All right, so now from here, exhale, taking the arms all the way up for a moment. Bring your fingertips underneath you and then you're gonna lift the legs. Just five, four, and three, and two, and one. Good, so now let's open the legs, close the legs. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good, setting the feet right back down. Inhale, this time you're gonna come stretch forward, allow the knees to open as your sternum moves forward, and then we're gonna Exhale and bring yourself back. Let's try that a couple times. So the palms close. Inhale, the arms open wide. A little Baddha Konasana, cobbler's pose stretch. And then exhale back. Everything closes. The midline zips together. Inhale, estirando adelante. And then exhale, coming all the way. Good. We're gonna next, on this next round, pause and then you're going to open opposite arm and knee so that arm and leg open and close three and 
two, and one. Good. Same thing, opposite side, opening and closing. Taking four, and three, and two, and one. Very nice. And now from here, once again, open arms, open legs. Leave the legs open as you now float back. And then you're going to lift the two feet. Take them down and up for 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Exhale, sitting all the way up. Bring your hands behind the head. So now your elbows are kind of mirroring your knees. And you'll stretch and reach forward and sit up nice and tall. Let's stretch and reach forward, pressing your head into your hands so the back of your neck can lengthen. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, sitting tall. Good, this time I'm gonna take opposite hand to ear and stretch my neck just a little. I'm reaching my opposite arm away as I stretch. Good, exhale, sitting tall, switch the position of your two hands and you're gonna stretch your ear away from the shoulder. Good, and then we'll sit all the way up. Excellent, so now go ahead. This time we're gonna close the legs as we come down, lift the two feet and then stretch and extend one knee joint and then stretch and extend the opposite knee. So the shin rises up. Good, and you're just waking up your quadriceps, scooping your belly. Good, if it's feeling nice now, try extending your two legs together, taking three, and down, take two, and down, take one. Can you hold that lift for five, four, three, two, one, bend the knees. Exhale, take your palms under your shoulders and lift the hips, a big stretch. Good, so when you lift the hips, try not to drop your head, but instead keep your gaze kind of looking at your hip points, pubic bone, push through the feet to feel the glutes fire, and then exhale, lower that down. See if you can come onto your forearms for a moment, stretch one leg out, and then the opposite leg out. So you're gonna Reach through the hips, scoop in at the belly. Watch your center here. So a lot of times the neck strain will happen if your chest is tight. If your chest is tight, you're gonna to try to look at the ceiling and then your neck is gonna bug you. So see if you can keep your gaze at your belly as the limbs extend. Three and two and one. Good, so now exhale, float yourself all the way down to the floor here for a moment. Palms are going to come together. Your knees are over your chest. Stretch and extend the limbs. Exhale right back to your center. Stretch and extend the limbs. Exhale, squeeze your center. Good. Inhale and exhale in. So that one more time. Inhale, exhale in. Now this time, let your legs stretch out, and then they're going to come up to 90 degrees. So the arms and legs lower together. They lift to 90, up, they lift to 92. Let's do that one more time, up. And now from here, arms to the side, tuck your shoulder blades in, elbows pressed down, tailbone rises up, and then it floats to the floor. Tailbone rises up, and it floats to the floor. So if anybody has trouble with this, the, the best thing I can recommend is to start even smaller, right? So you could even soften your knees and just focus on the lift of the tailbone and then setting it right back down. So just, we gotta wake up the sensations first before the movement gets bigger. And then you may find you can kind of lift a little bit more and then set those bones right back down. Good, so with control. So just play with lifting your pelvis without using your hands, using instead the strength in your shoulders, and it don't have an agenda about how much you lift. It could be an imperceptible, tiny little thing. So you might wanna take a couple little breaks, do a small guy, a couple of small ones, and then perhaps a bigger lift. 
But remember that the trick with advancing your practice is um, um, exploring the sensation, the sensation of movement. Good. All right. So now from here, let's just pause for a moment. Bring your feet to the floor. And you're gonna, we're gonna do a couple of versions of back bend. So open your knees, open your palms, tuck the shoulder blades in. And I want you to just lift some weight onto the top of your head and feel your front throat area stretch. Give this five breaths. We're gonna exhale, push on the elbows, lower that back down. And now I want you to just hold your elbows in, your neck nice and sturdy and strong, and then lift your thighs and lift your pelvis. Good, you can even press your thumbs and pinkies here into the floor as you hold this lift. The, the elbows pressing in is gonna allow you a little bit more lift in the rib cage. And then from there, you're gonna exhale, release, let that come down, keeping your feet all the way together. Push down with the arms and now lift. So your feet and knees are touching. So this is essentially like a reverse chair pose. Good. Knees touching, feet touching, thigh bones lifting. Five breaths. And then you can walk your feet back towards your hands and push up onto the elbows once again, lift the ribs and more proper Satyabandha Sarvangasana. Good, after your next round there, you can repeat that pose or bring the palms under your shoulders. And everybody, just walk your, uh, I want you to take a second to stretch your hands and stretch your wrists before you try to push up into a back bend. So if you reach your thumb away from your pinky until the whole hand is actually really comfortable just being on the floor. And then pull your elbows out and in. Afuera adentro, afuera adentro. Good, and I want you to feel that place where your elbows are pulling in, they're right alongside your temples. Push through the feet. And don't, again, don't worry about coming into a back bend. Maybe all you're doing today is getting that sensation of keeping your hands under your shoulders, pushing through the feet and lifting the pelvic bones, right? So just pay attention to sensations here. No agenda, no push, no rush. But so if this is all you did today, fantastic. If you're now kind of able to lift the ribs and the pelvis, try that a few times. So pelvic bones, lumbar, rib cage up, and then down. And then those of us who practice, you know, this uh, Urdhva Dhanurasana full back bend, these little movements are gonna help us make these poses better. So just, you know, explore those sensations also. Last thing, so now you've got the ribs, maybe coming onto the head is a good idea. And you could just hold on your head or you could extend your triceps and give this pose a few good big breaths. And when you've had enough, you just come down. You let all those bones relax, the muscles relax. You can take your knees over your chest, rock your back just a moment. <sighs> You can take your arms open to the side, take the knees to one side, then the knees to the other side, continuing to kind of lightly rock and massage your back. Knew it was almost time for me to be done here. Good. And then everyone see, place your hands on one shin and then let the opposite leg just circle. Mm 
And then we're gonna take your hands onto the stable leg and then let the other leg just circle a few times. And then from here, let that leg come right back down. Good. Open your two arms and then the legs, once again, they can just kind of rock and move the spine any which way. So just enjoy kind of some light movement, like your legs were floating in the body of water of your choice here. And then as you feel ready, let's set the limbs down gently. And bring your hands to your abdomen. And move your breath down low. Start to elongate your exhales, taking your exhales in and out of your nose. And then when you feel ready, just slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes and circle the ankles and the wrists, working the thighs in and out and the hip socket. And then you can bring your legs lightly one at a time over your chest, rock your back a final time here. And then when you feel ready, roll onto one side and press with the arms to come up. And we'll bring our palms together before the heart to bow the head, close the eyes. Tu práctica es un regalo. Muchas gracias. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you.